Hello Giants fans, welcome to Giants Baseball 101. I'm Gabe Vaughn, your host. Let's get to joining the Giants Baseball 101 Facebook group. We need some members there. I think we can whip up something really good. Also, please don't forget to keep checking out my articles on Last Word on Sports. Just go to lwosports.com and they'll show up if you click on MLB. I, I think they'll be right there. And please let me know if you're having any trouble finding anything. I could help you with that. Well, I don't have too much for tonight. I did want to tackle the Giants catching situation. Joey Bart is the obvious front runner for the starting position. Austin wins, even though he was designated for assignment to make space on the roster. He's still expected to be a big leaguer. I mean, he still has to compete in spring training. He's not guaranteed a spot, but Having cleared waivers and stayed in the Giants organization, he's expected to make the roster. I think most would think that he's going to be Bart's primary backup, but he still has to compete with Blake Sabol, and what Sabol has going for him is he can play the outfield. I have no idea about his bat right now. I don't have information on that as of right now, but we'll see how it is in spring training. But I would say what Blake Sabol has is that he can play the outfield. Super rare for a catcher. But anyway, the way it's looking like is Austin Wins would be the primary backup catcher. It is absolutely correct to be giving Bart the at-bats. I mean, he's the, the guy with high potential right now. Remember that in 2018, the Giants signed him for $7 million. That's super high. Even really for a first round draft pick, it, it was just a monumental investment they made on Bart, realizing that he had potential to be such a great player. That hasn't that potential hasn't really come around yet. And yes, he definitely needs at bats, and it's it's the right call to give him those at bats. Only situation in which it wouldn't be maybe as if Austin wins was like significantly better in spring training and immediate productivity demanded that wins get the at-bats. But putting all of that aside, I think the actual best option is, is actually to have Joey Bart as the designated hitter and wins to, after all, be the starting catcher. And I, I think that because Bart, at least, the least I can say about it is I'd be interested to see how he would benefit from focusing solely on his hitting. Obviously, wins would need rest if he was a starting catcher, so Bart would have to play defense sometimes, but I'm just saying, you know, in general, if Bart's primary position, primary spot, hitting in the lineup was DH, who knows what that might do for him. He's a player with tremendous potential, supposed to be a superstar someday. There just seems to be some barrier that he needs to get around. Part of that could be that he was brought to the big leagues you know, just like two years after being drafted, which is super early, and he might have needed more of the minor league coaching, that the minor league development for longer, but you know, with the COVID season and all that, rosters were bigger, and Giants just couldn't help bringing up Bart, but at this point, he does seem to have some kind of a barrier because he hasn't had a real good season yet in the big leagues even with an extended look in 2022, and yeah, he did show some flashes of potential, but he hasn't had a real good season yet, so there's just this barrier he has to get across. His development has yet to be finished, and I, I just wonder, putting him in as a designated hitter, we usually think, when we're thinking of players who basically that will help their performance, we usually think of older players just late in their careers, you know, or players who are struggling with an injury, but a young guy like Bart who just... Is, is trying to develop. I, I just wonder, this isn't how we think of it, but would it allow him to just, in allowing him to just focus solely on his hitting, who knows what dividends that'll pay for him. I, I believe it's best for the Giants to try that. Austin wins, should be the, the primary starting catcher, and Joey Bart should be penciled in as a designated hitter. I mean, that, I, I don't think that most would really think that way, but I think it makes sense if you think about it to just give that idea a chance, see what it'll do for Bart's offensive performance. And I do want to say that's not a permanent solution. 
Bart's ultimate role is not to be a designated hitter. Yeah, I, I am still wanting him to be the next Buster Posey. I'm not saying that's his future. As a full-time DH, not saying that at all. No, I believe he's a catcher in the future and that whenever it is that his bat comes around, I, I think that is his role. No, I, I think that this, this idea should be used as a temporary, temporary method of hopefully bringing his bat to life. Just finishing his development by, you know, by putting him in the designated hitter spot. I think especially with the unique positional demand of the catcher position that can sometimes take its toll on offense. I think the positional demand is kind of unique at the point where that might be the best option for someone in Bart's situation. So the idea is temporary and, and not even necessarily, shouldn't even necessarily be used for the the rest of the 2023 season. I mean, at some point, if mid-season, they decide Bart's ready, he's come through with the bat and he's ready for defense, then, you know, particularly if they can maximize offense in a better way than having Austin wins in the lineup, which I don't know if that's going to be the case or not, but if it were, then Bart could take over catcher and then whatever other guy they want to slot in the lineup. I mean, I just don't know how it's going to turn out, like, like how it's going to turn out, you know, the, the greatest potential for run output, what lineup, what type of lineup is that going to look like? And by the way, too, Bart, Bart needs to finish his development also by, you know, learning to play defense and hit at the same time. I'm not denying that at all. So this idea of putting Bart in as the designated hitter, I would really call a temporary method of just trying to get around this final barrier to Bart's game and trying to establish him as the everyday catcher. It's temporary, just a temporary method, and I, th I think it's the best option in Bart's case, so Wins should be the starting catcher. He should be playing the defense except when he needs rest, and Bart should be the designated hitter to open the 2023 season, and we'll see, we could see where that takes Bart, how that helps his development. And then the starting rotation, you know, I think the question there is, is Ross Stripling going to be enough to replace Carlos Rodon? I do think he's pretty good, you know, but will he replace the all-star Rodon? That it's probably going to seem like actually likely to some and a long shot to others, depending on how you look at it. But I really think we just need to see with Stripling, is he going to replace Rodon? And is that going to, you know, be good enough for the rotation? And Sean Manaya, maybe the... The level for him will just bring it to a level like of Alex Wood, you know, if he can perform like around that level in the rotation. And when Anthony DiSclefani comes back, you know, you can probably have a picture in your mind of the level we can expect him to perform at, you know, not to be too bad even on his immediate return from surgery. That That's you know, that, that's what I think we can realistically hope for with Di Sclafani. And, and the rotation, there's a lot that could just go, like, one way or the other, to be honest, I think, with that. But I, I think, in general, if the Giants can manage to not have a significantly worse roster than they did in the second half, or really the first half of 2022, I, I think just... In general, I, I know I gotta be specific, you know, by just specifying what type of what time in 2022 I'm talking about. But just try to think generally here. I think just in general, if the Giants can have a roster that's not really worse than it was in 2022, then they can. I mean, it, it is practical to at least hope that they can be about average until the trade deadline, and then if they take significant action they can get at least the final wild card spot. So there are a lot of options for them to contend, I think especially with this extra playoff spot. They do have a lot of options here. And remember in the first half of 2022, they they did they were real hot, you know, that the cooldown the disaster happened later in the 2022 season for the Giants. So who knows how it'll turn out. It it could just be that they they will be Remember that last offseason wasn't real good in terms of signing free agents either, but could just be that they'll they'll be hot and what they need to do is just avoid a disaster like last year and that hopefully they've learned from it. That'll be, you know, really good if that's the case and 
you know, come the trade deadline this year, hopefully they, they learned, you know, and even if they were to have another cold streak, hopefully it wouldn't throw them off again. I, I mean, they, they, would, they would just, hopefully they'd just be saying they need to get hot again by trading, using that aggressiveness at the trade deadline that just wasn't there last year. And I've said this multiple times, it was the timing of the losing streak. That, that's totally what it was. And, you know, that this year, if they're in any kind of a position like they were in 2022 at the 2023 de trade deadline, they need to go for it. And hopefully they've learned that lesson. That's their option for contending this year. They'll lose fan support if they don't have a plan to contend. It can't just be a rebuild year. Thank you so much for watching. This has been Giants Baseball 101. Please subscribe if you haven't. Also, please post questions and comments. I'll try to make sure to answer them. And I'll see you next time on Giants Baseball 101.